helping make your life easier. Moms Every Day. Good morning, I'm Katie Kungel. Many women live with the bothersome symptoms of abnormal uterine bleeding. Jennifer Bands, obstetrician and gynecologist at Mayo Clinic Health System, is here today to talk more about abnormal bleeding. Good morning, Dr. Bands. Good morning. So what is considered abnormal uterine bleeding? So abnormal bleeding many times can be bleeding in between your cycle and sometimes um, heavier bleeding where you can bleed longer than a week. Um, and really heavy bleeding can be abnormal. Um, okay. Women sometimes can be really dizzy or lightheaded and feel really weak when they're on their period, and that can be considered abnormal, especially if it's affecting your daily activities. Okay, so what causes it? Anything in particular? Um, abnormal bleeding can be caused by kind of hormonal imbalances, especially as we approach menopause. Um, sometimes uterine growth, such as polyps or fibroids, can cause some heavier bleeding. Okay. Um, birth control pills, sometimes we need to change the pills, and that can cause some um, changes in our in our period as well. Okay, so what can women do to move closer to a regular bleeding cycle then? Sometimes an easy thing to do is to change a birth control pill okay. um, and also following up with your, your health care provider to see if you actually have fibroids or polyps. Mm -hmm. um, some health care, some health conditions such as thyroid disease can cause heavier um, periods and if we fix that problem the bleeding can improve. Um, and those are some of the more common things. Okay. Um, sometimes just uh, reducing stress and weight changes, losing weight can actually help our periods too. Okay, then quickly, what about menopause and uterine bleeding? Um, menopause, by definition, is the lack of a period for a year. Um, and any bleeding after that period of time is considered abnormal and need to talk to your health care provider. All right, well, thank you very much for the great advice this morning. And to learn more, please visit Moms Every Day. You'll find more information in the health section under Women's Health. Get more from MomsEveryday.com. Select Western Wisconsin.